In this video, I want to look at an example of how to solve a problem where you are told what time the moon rises, and you are asked to figure out uh, what phase the moon must be in if it rises at that time. So, for an example problem, consider a moon phase that rises at midnight. What is the name and appearance of this moon phase? So I want to break this question into steps and walk through uh, figuring out each step on the way to the answer. So the first thing that I want to do is the problem tells us the moon rises at midnight, but I want to think about when is the moon highest in the sky. That's going to be the easiest thing to think about to try and draw our diagram. So we know for any moon phase, the moon will rise. Six hours later, the moon will be highest in the sky. And six hours after that, the moon will set. This is true approximately true for any moon phase. So in our problem, the moon rises at midnight, so six hours later at 6 a.m. the moon will be highest in the sky, and just to complete our table, uh, six hours after that at noon the moon will be setting. So here is our useful piece of information. 6 a.m. the moon is highest in the sky. That's gonna help me draw my diagram. So step one, when is the moon highest in the sky? We use these six hour rules to help us answer that. Step two, I want to draw an earth and sun diagram and I want to put an observer somewhere on the earth so that the observer is at the time we just determined. So I want to figure out where to put an observer on earth for it to be 6 a.m. for that observer. So here we have an earth and our sun and I've put a bunch of observers at different positions on the Earth. So this observer over here, the sun is very high in the sky for him. This person, it should be noon for him. On the opposite side of Earth, over on the nighttime side, this observer is the opposite side of Earth as the sun. And so over here, it should be midnight for this observer. And if I go through and label the times for all of our observers drawn, I see that down here, this person on the bottom, this is our 6 a.m. observer. And just as a double check, I could imagine drawing in this observer's horizon. The sun would just barely be on that horizon. And if I look at my counterclockwise arrow here, showing what direction the Earth rotates, as the Earth rotates, this observer will move over here and we'll start to see the sun coming up. So that makes sense. 6 a.m. we're saying the sun starts to rise approximately. So here's my earth, my sun, and my 6 a.m. observer. Next thing I need to do is add a moon to this diagram. So step three, I'm going to complete my earth, moon, sun diagram by drawing the moon directly above the observer's head. So we just identified our 6 a.m. observer as the person down here. Directly above that observer's head is going to be our moon. So we figured out that our moon rises at midnight, meaning that it is highest in the sky at 6 a.m. Highest in the sky is going to put it directly above someone's head. Whose head? The person for whom it is 6 a.m. So this is our correct Earth, Moon, Sun diagram for our moon phase. Next step to figure out what this moon is actually going to look like, I want to rotate this entire diagram so that my moon is above Earth from my perspective as the student solving this problem looking at the piece of paper. So I'm going to rotate this diagram uh, exactly as we talked about in the moon phase appearance video. So I'm rotating, and now I have the Earth, and directly above it is our moon phase. Looking at it from this perspective, I see half of it is bright on the left, half of it is dark on the right. This is what the moon phase will actually look like to our observer viewing it from Earth. So going back to our original right-side-up diagram, I have figured out what the moon phase will look like. Notice this is not what it looked like originally in our diagram, so we really did have to do the rotation 
to figure out that it will look like this when you look up in the sky. And the last thing I need to do is name the moon phase. Well, if I can remember that over here when the moon is between the Earth and the Sun, if I can remember that that's the new moon and that the moon orbits counterclockwise, the same direction Earth rotates, then there will be first quarter up here, full moon down here, and at the bottom, the moon phase that we have in our diagram, will be our third quarter. So our moon that rises at midnight will look like this, bright on the left half, dark on the right half, and it will be a third quarter moon phase. So here are our steps that we went through in order. We figured out when the moon is highest. If it rises at midnight, it is highest six hours later at 6 a.m. We drew our Earth and our Sun and put an observer at the 6 a.m. on Earth position. Then we drew the moon directly above that observer's head. We rotated our diagram to put the moon phase above Earth from our perspective. That told us what the moon will look like. And then lastly, we sort of counted around our picture here to figure out that down here, three quarters of the way around the orbit, we're at the third quarter moon phase. So these are the steps. Anytime you're told a time about the moon, these are the steps you're going to go through. If you're told when it rises, if you're told when it sets, your first step is always going to be, let's figure out what time the moon is highest in the sky. That is what's most helpful. We figure out when it's highest in the sky, and then we step through drawing our diagram, rotating our paper to see what it will look like, and then lastly, adding in the name. Just as a little check here, here's our 6 a.m. observer. The moon is high in the sky, highest in the sky for that observer. Here is our observer at midnight, at the midnight position on Earth. Here is that observer's horizon, and the moon is not quite above the horizon. To see this a little bit more accurately, this is a scale drawing. So in class I talk about we never draw these pictures to scale. Here it actually is drawn to scale. The moon actually orbits quite a large distance away from Earth. So here we see the moon phase we've drawn is almost on the horizon for our midnight observer. And if we rotate the Earth just a tiny bit, at just a hair past midnight, we see our moon has in fact risen for our observer. So right around midnight, a moon at this point in the orbit does indeed rise, which is what our question claimed.